there welcome to another video by RA Solutions in this video what we're going to do is show you how to create your own very quick random number generator or a random name generator in Microsoft Excel so firstly what I'm going to do is open up Microsoft Excel here now in this Excel document what I've done in column A here I've listed lots of different numbers all the way up to 32 okay but what I can go further go up to 33 34 put in there as many numbers as you want you could do the name same with names so if you have lots of um, people's names or if you're in a classroom environment have pupils names you could put lots of pupils names in there as well now I'm going to choose a random cell here um, so column I row 8 and in there I'm going to paste a formula in the formula bar at the top and I'm going to explain what this formula does so this is the formula here so it's equals index bracket open so on and so forth I'm just gonna highlight what the functions do and what these dollar a signs are here okay so the first and foremost thing so index looks at all the values in column a over here and what what I'm asking the formula to do is choose a random value in that column by counting this count a here counts every single value here whether it's a number symbol text character and I want it to bring me back one value that is in that column there so if I click on enter it will give me 12 there okay but it's a bit of a job just to highlight the cell click on the um, formula bar at the top click it on enter to give you a value so do that again one more time yeah it will give me a random number click on the formula bar one more time it will give me a random number so it's a nice easy way for it to give you a random number but I'm gonna add something on that I'm gonna have or add a button here which you simply click and by clicking that button it will change the number for you so the way we're going to do this is by creating a macro it records what you do on the screen so if I find what a macro is finding where the macro section is here under the view tab on the top ribbon if I scroll down to the right macros is here on the right side here so if I click on the arrow I want to record a macro um, I'm going to name this macro refresh and once I click on okay it will start recording what I do on this screen it will start recording my macro it will start recording my steps so if I click on okay um, let's click on yes now here at the bottom bottom left hand corner um, at the moment my macro is playing so whatever I do on the screen it will record what I do so the first thing I will do is highlight the cell where that number is then I will click on the formula bar and then I will click on enter and hopefully the macro has recorded my steps now what I want to do is stop the macro from recording so click on the stop sign here at the bottom now hopefully my macro has stopped recording what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a button and assign that macro in that button so when I every time I hit that button it will refresh this number and hopefully generate a new number for me each time so to create a button I'm going to just simply insert a shape so insert at the top here click on shapes I'm going to choose a rectangle shape and I'm going to draw that shape here I'm going to right click click on edit text name that shape or give it a label call it refresh go to home center my um, refresh label here make it bigger even click off it now what I'm going to do is assign the macro I've just created so right click assign macro here and I'm going to choose the macro I recorded earlier which is refresh click on OK click off it now hopefully when I click on the button refresh you can see that the values I'm clicking each time the value changes and the new number is generated now what you can also do is let's say you've got you're teaching a class or you want to choose a random name you can delete these numbers here it won't affect the formula which is in there obviously hashtag num means it needs to be a value in here so if I type in pupil A in the top column 
the top row, sorry, to pupil B, pupil C, so on and so forth, it will obviously start populating this part here. So if I click on refresh, instead of having numbers now, you can see that it will take in as well pupil names. Okay, so that's how you create a random number generator or in fact a random name generator in Microsoft Excel and it's a very quick and easy thing to do. Hope that video has been helpful. Please subscribe, like and share.